Welcome to Relocating to Disney. Well, uh, wife's been under the weather a little bit, so we haven't been going anywhere. And uh, so I haven't been recording very much, but let me tell you what I have been working on. It was Halloween and the neighbors were stopping by telling us how much they loved how the house looked when it was all lit up for Christmas. Now I, I strung lights at, on the New York house for years. I was really looking forward to not having to do that here in Florida. But sounds like the neighborhood has a certain expectation on our property. So I decided to string the lights one time. We're going to do permanent lights. Um, permanent Christmas lights that you put up and you never take them down. And then you can use them throughout the year. But uh, the point is, is you don't have to keep taking them up, taking them down. I had a, had a couple people come out, give us quotes. Quotes were around $4,000. And I said, you know what, I, I can do it a lot cheaper than that. So far, we've got about, I don't know, maybe $500 invested in the project. And if you can't see it, I'm going to point to it. Right there it is. That is the lights. And from the street, you can't even see them. But at night, when you turn them on, um, yeah, they're very <laughs> noticeable. They they're, look like standard Christmas lights. But all the rest of the year, you don't really even notice that they're up there. So we've been uh, researching that. It took about, I don't know, three weeks or so to research how to do this. And then we set aside two weeks to get these lights up because we work. And so really all we have is weekends and evenings. And by the time I get out of work, it's dark. So we really don't have evenings. So really just two weekends and the long uh, uh, Thanksgiving uh, weekend being one of them to get all these lights up. So that's, that's what we've been working on. I'll show you one thing that's gonna be a challenge now as I walk over here. And that is, I gotta get lights up on that peak. And the problem is there's a tree, right? right there's the tree. And I had the landscaper come out with the intention of trimming that tree back so I could get the lights up there. Um, and he trimmed, every tree on the property except that one <laughs> so now i'm stuck um it's going to be a heck of a challenge to try to get the lights up there so uh i don't think a ladder is going to work i'm probably going to have to pay a lot of money get a get maybe a bucket on a boom if i can rent one of those which means now the project is just going to go up even a few more hundred dollars so i can get the lights on that part of the house or maybe I'll just skip it and not do that part of the house I'm not really sure yet but anyways that's what I've been up to the last couple of weeks um, I'll have more details about this if you want to learn more about do-it-yourself uh, permanent Christmas lights um, go to YouTube and search for DRZZS all right he's kind of like the expert in all of this and from his videos you'll be able to link out to other people who are doing this as well. But I'll have uh, some more information about this project later on. Thank you for watching.